Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I would like to talk about the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 and how it is superior to the Samsung Galaxy S8, which I believe to be the current best smartphone on the market. And of course, towards the end of this video, I will talk about that one flaw on the Note 8 that is slightly disheartening, but not overwhelming in any way. Before we dive in, hit that thumbs up button right now and make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Saki Tech Online. Now, if you haven't heard already, the Note 8 will be officially announced on August 23rd, and you will be able to watch the full keynote at Samsung.com as it happens. That's a Wednesday, so make sure to call out of work or skip school. Of course, I'm just kidding. Do not call out or skip school. So basically, we have a whole bunch of leaks and renders based on real schematics that showcase what the Galaxy Note 8 is going to look like, and without a question, the design language on the Note 8 is stunning. So as far as design goes, both phones are equally beautiful. Now, the Galaxy Note 8 has a larger screen at 6.3 inches compared to the already massive 6.2 inches on the Galaxy S8. It does have a dual camera setup, so you have two cameras on the Note 8. Both cameras will have 12 megapixels each with dual optical image stabilization. It is going to have the same Quad HD Plus resolution, a Snapdragon 835 processor, and 6 gigabytes of RAM. Now, another thing to understand is that the Note 8 is going to have thinner bezels and accordingly, even a higher screen to body ratio than the S8. So you will see more of the screen and less of the bezels for sure. But of course, the biggest feature the Note 8 always has had is the S Pen over any other smartphone. So unless you have some kind of deep seated need for the S Pen, you probably do not need to upgrade from the Samsung Galaxy S8, just so you know. Now here's a snapshot of the ways in which the Note 8 is better than the S8 for your convenience. Uh, number one, it has a larger 6.3 inch screen. It has a higher screen to body ratio. It has six gigabytes of RAM instead of four gigabytes of RAM. It has a dual camera setup. It has the S Pen. Of all those points, only the last three are actually significant. Of course, drop a comment down below and let me know what you think about these improvements and their significance uh, relative to your needs. So that's that. And moving on to the final point, something I can't help but mention is that the Note 8 is going to have the fingerprint sensor on the rear by the camera and the heart rate sensor, which is the only complaint a lot of people, including myself, have. But it is what it is, and it's not a deal breaker. The Note 8 is still a fantastic smartphone, and it's going to be the best smartphone when it gets released. So yeah, that's it for the Note 8 news and updates. Just drop a comment down below and let me know how you feel. Are you a Galaxy S8 owner? If yes, do you want to upgrade to the Note 8? Or are you going to wait for the iPhone 8? And let me know how significant do you think are the changes that the Note 8 brings over the Galaxy S8. Just drop the comments down below. And of course, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Saki Tech Online. And do not forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to Saki Tech. I'll see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day.